Hi there, it's Stanton here from Algo Trading. So it's a new year, and with the new year comes new beginnings. And the Algo Trading camp has gone through some changes, and we are starting the, the year afresh with a new trading system and a new broker. So without further ado, let's get into MetaTrader 5. So Algo Trading has moved over to GT247, and I'll trading platform now that we're using is MetaTrader 5. Um, I'll get into more into MetaTrader 5 in future tutorials, but today's tutorial I'm going to be focused on algo trading and creating a, a trading system without any programming knowledge. So let's get started. Now everything in MetaTrader 5, if you're creating any sort of automatic trading system or expert advisor as they call it in MetaTrader, it happens within your MetaQuote editor. So, in order to get there, you just click on the MetaQuote editor, just close that, and this is where you create all your algo trading systems. In just in um, MetaTrader, just note that it's called an expert advisor when you're talking about any sort of trading system or automated trading system, it's known as expert advisors. Okay, so let's get started. So, I've created a new folder here, so under experts. I've created a new folder here called Tutorials, and then I'm going to create a new file. Now, there's a couple of options you could do here. You could create an Expert Advisor from a template, which basically gives you the standard layout that you need for an Expert Advisor. But in future in future videos, I'm going to be writing um, Expert Advisors from scratch, yeah. and I'll show you how to do that. So, just for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to generate an Expert Advisor. Now. Normally, when you create an expert advisor, it's it's good to know which which um, symbol, so which instrument you would like to use, and which time frame you'd like to use. So for this purpose, I'm, I've already created one for the DAX, and I'm just going to use that one and show you how that was done. So let's just call this, and it's going to be based on moving averages and the RSI. So let's just call this MA RSI. Because maybe you might use it for another system or another symbol, so let's just give it a general name. And so the parameters here is what symbol, so we want to just keep it general, so we might use it, and what time frame. And also, this will change according to what graph you put it on. So if you put it, this system onto a one hour chart, it will change the one hour, trade the one hour time frame. If you put it on a five minute chart, it will trade the five minute time frame. But for now, let's just keep this standard. We click Next. And now the signals is what tells the system to buy or sell, basically. And it's based on indicators. So the first indicator we're going to add is going to be the moving average. So we just select moving average. And we just keep all the, the parameters um, as default for now. We could change those when we do the actual back testing. And if you want to see what sort of signal this indicator gives, you just click on the question mark, and you could see, and you could just go through it yourself. It says, so it says when the price moves over the average moving average, gives a buy signal. It has a fake breakout signal. If we buy in there, um, form breakout. So these are all the different signals, and then for selling the same thing. So if your price drops below your moving average, it will give a sell signal. And then you could just go through this and just see what sort of signals you're looking for based on your own back tests and your own trading strategies. Okay, so the first signal we're doing is the moving average, and then we're going to add our RSI as well. So we look in the list for relative strength index. Okay, so those are the two indicators we're going to use and the signals we're going to receive from those indicators. Click Next, use a trailing stop. Either you could choose not to use a trailing stop, I just use, like to use a fixed trailing stop, so we'll just keep it at the default levels for now. And your trading volume, so this is like how much you're willing to bet. So either you could go, as a, is your percent, so this is like the percent, your maximum allowed percent of your equity. So let's just say we want to do this, we only want to use 2% of our equity, equity sorry, and the number of lots we're going to trade is 10. It's just because this is in rands, so... 10 lots is basically 10 rand per point. 
Okay, we're going to finish that. And there it is. Your algo trading system has been generated for you. Now what you first need to do, you need to compile it. And then what we're going to do, we're going to go into back into our our trading system. And then you could see um, under expert advisors, you see the tutorial folder we created. And there's our MARSI expert advisor. So now what we're going to do, we're going to test this. And like I said to you, we're going to test this on the DAX. So I'm just going to test it for three months, just for the purpose of speed and time, because it does take some time if you're testing entire history or you know a number of inputs. Um, we're going to test on the DAX in a one-hour time frame for the last three months. We're not going to do any walkthrough testing for now for this for this demonstration. Here yeah, you could choose your execution time. So just in case you're hosting it on, you know, because you need to host your your algo systems. So there might be a one millisecond delay, five millisecond delay. So you could just test for different types of delay, but right now we'll leave it without delay. And very important is always to test on real ticks first. The ones I normally use is test every tick based on real ticks, or if you want to just test the, after you've done your inputs and you just want to test it over longer periods, whatever, I use open prices only because the, the back test tends to happen a lot quicker. So I think just for this purpose of demonstration, I'll say open prices only. But it's always good to test it on every tick to see if you know there might be multiple buys or sells on a single candle or something like that, which you just need to make sure. I know I've I had a a failure on one of my algos that literally sold 15 times in a matter of um, hit my stop loss 15 times in a matter of a couple of seconds, and it was quite a big loss. So always just make sure you test on real on real ticks first before you start running your systems live. But for this demo, let's just do open prices only. For the now what we're going to do is change the input. So this is the optimization. So either you could say you could test it on all the symbols that's in your market watch. You could do a fast, a fast sort of generic test, or you could test every single input that you've selected to be optimized. And then you could just get your results. So it's, this is just the way it's sorted. You could change it once the test is run. So let's just do we want to test it for max profit factor. And then the next tab is your inputs. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of inputs here that that you could change. I'm not going to go through all of these. It's going to be it's going to take too long to test. So what I've done is I've already done this test. So I'm going to load those inputs that I've already that I've already test. The, the threshold you just need to play with. This basically tells you the it's the, the signals work on a voting system, and the higher the threshold is, the easier it will it will trade. The lower the threshold, it's 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 hesitancy to trade. So you just need to play with those and just get your desired results from those. And then you could just make changes to all of these. So what your stop loss level be, your take profit level. Expiration orders, I always just leave this at four. And then you could just change like your moving average period. So let's let's say we want to change see what the best moving average period is for for this test is. So let's say we're gonna start at let's start at eight. Um we'll go up in steps of two and we'll go to twenty. I'm just trying to make as many as few um as few iterations as possible, just for the sake of speed for this test. Okay, and and the rest also you could just read up on. It's 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 quite ex self-explanatory. Um, you wouldn't change much. Most of the things that you'll change will be your thresholds, your periods. If you want a time shift, if you want to go, you know, one one step back or one step forward. The weighting tells you what influence that signal has over the buy and sell signal. So you could weight it anywhere between. So if you want this to be equally equally weighted, which is the way I do it, you set them both to one, but you could also just play with your weighting through through your input optimization. And then also I just want to see what's the best, okay, 
that's way too many iterations, so we just start with fixed volume. So I want to say, what's the best amount of money, which is to have the highest profit with the least amount of drawdowns? Okay, so we already actually start the test. So now we're going to run our back test. And you can see it's going through all 70 of those iterations. And there you could see, see the results of the back test. So you see some of those is losing results, some of those are winning. So now you could see, you know, if I used 80 lots with a period, MA period of 20, the profit would be 24307, but the drawdown is 29%, which is fairly high. So that's 29% of your ex equity over three months. You were you were down at one stage. So, so what I normally do is I click the drawdown to find out what the minimum drawdown is. So you can see, uh, I mean, these drawdowns are still quite high. So at 10 lots, so these are basically the best best result. 7% is still quite high, but you could use other sorts of optimizations to try and get it better. Let's actually see if I've got any from my live my live optimizations. Um, excuse me. And my presets, and here's my DAX optimization. It looks about the same. So if we run that, still looking about the same. So try and find a nice low drawdown. So this looks like a good, good thing. So our MA period is 20, and we're going to be using 10 lots. Now once you've got your now what you could do is, so you've got your desired optimization results, you found a nice balance between drawdown and profit. Now what you could do, you could run the test, you disable the optimization, and you could turn on visualization. So then you could actually see your trades being made. So if you start that, the visualization window is going to come on. Oh, that was a bit fast. Let me just slow it down a bit, and we're going to run it again. And then you can see it actually running through the trades now. See a couple of times we've hit our stop losses there. And you can see when the trades buy in, or when they sell. So you get the idea. So basically it's trading for you. You can just step through it quite quickly now. Shows you where your take profit is. And this is one of the features I like about MetaTrader is that you can actually watch the trade happen. You can see your trading stops move up or down when required. So you could see it almost in real time. So there we go. Okay, so that's just trading. And then you can look at your results. So you can see over three months, a net profit would have been just over 10%, which is not that great, but if you play with the parameters more, you could get that a lot better. Drawdown is 8,000 Rand, which is quite high. But this just shows you how you could create your own sort of trading systems without any sort of programming experience. And then also once you've got the results, you could look at <coughs> all your deals. You could see like your, your biggest losses, your biggest gains. So you could see that the data before then wasn't that great. Um, this is still in beta mode on GT247, but hopefully the data um, integrity will get a bit better as, as they go along. So you can see the first couple of trades made 2,400 in that trade, 1,300 in that trade. 
taking some some losses and as you can see here, your gains are generally bigger than your losses I mean so fairly decent system but I still think that you could probably optimize it a bit better to get your your drawdowns a lot a lot more down okay and then just to show you let's just do another one of my my ones so let's just say we I just name it for the the for the for the instrument I'm trading so for instance I've written one for um, let's just say the FTSE we do it on the FTSE and just look slow complete algorithm um, this one is actually based on three oscillators on the CCI the MACD and the relative strength index and we're just going to see based on fixed volumes I'm not going to change any of those parameters we start that run through those five parameters so you can see this is a much nicer trading system if you use 20 lots the drawdown is only 2.57% and we made a profit of 3,211 rand if you want to and this is basically for months because the data older than a month is not that great at the moment so if you wanted to double up those lots you would have made 4,800 with a drawdown of 5% which is still a decent a decent trading strategy Okay, well thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the video and please stay tuned for more videos because we're going to be doing lots more of MetaTrader 5 videos, we're going to create custom indicators, we're going to create more trading systems, we're going to start a trading system from scratch and show you how that works and also I'll be showing you how to use um, pre-made um, pre systems that are in the code base on MetaTrader and a lot more things to come. So. Let's hope that 2018 is a good year, pulls us lots of profit, and come back soon. Thank you.